Hi everyone, my name is Jill Beware. This is Today in Fitness, and we're going to be doing a foam rolling routine with a little bit of a massage ball at the beginning. And this is great for active rest days like I'm doing today. It's also great for pre or post exercise. You know, you can pick and choose the exercise that I do today, but this is kind of the basic uh, routine that I do. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna get ready. Okay. All right, so I'm just wearing some comfy clothes for this. Uh, I've got some comfy socks on comfy tank, comfy sweatpants. I'm gonna grab my massage ball, take my glasses off. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so before I start with my foam roller, I'm gonna just take a moment and roll out my feet just to get some connection down there, going right over the arch to the toes. I'm not doing an extensive anything today. Possibly paying a little bit of close attention to the thoracic spine, but I'm not doing a full, full foot thing. So once you've done the feet for just a moment, I'm going to stand on it with my heel, and I'm just going to push down, get that connection through the leg, and I'm going to do it one more time. So I'm just standing right on my heel and coming right back. Okay, and then next side. And I'm just kind of rolling back and forth, going over the toes a little, over the ball of the foot. You're getting in there. And then once again, I'll stand to the side a little bit. I'm just kind of pulling up into the foot and then coming back down. I'm going to do it one more time. And down. All right. Okay, I'm going to put this to the side and grab my foam roller. So. I'm actually going to angle a little bit so you can see. Okay. So I'm going to, I've got the extra long foam rollers. I love these. They're super helpful. If you have a shorter one, just adjust. You know, doesn't mean you can't do that workout. You just rate it, you keep your weight, um, your pelvis will be balanced off of it. So if you happen to have a really nice long one, let me come all the way back. I'm going to put my hands up the ceiling and I'm just going to stay for just a moment let my ribs settle oh, feel my feet on the floor let my pelvis drop into the foam roller make sure my spine is nice and long and then I'm not kind of extending through the chin nice and long through the back of the neck and then take the palms flip them over take the feet out a little bit I'm just gonna pull across the front of the shoulder just a little bit. And over to the other side. And over. Notice I'm getting a little bit of that diagonal across the torso. Okay, coming back to the center, I'm going to take a nice deep breath. I'm going to flip the hands over, palms up on the exhale. I'm going to come all the way up. I'm just going to touch the palms together. Take another deep breath in. And on the exhale. And you'll feel kind of the shoulders fall on either side of the foam roller. That's nice. You don't have to be static here. It's going to move a little bit, and that's nice. Take a nice big inhale. And on the exhale, Excellent. take a nice big inhale. And on the exhale, I'm going to draw the arms back just to where you feel comfortable. You can come all the way to the floor if that feels good. If not, that's all right. And nice exhale, nice big inhale. And exhale. Back up. Bring an inhale here. And on the exhale, I'm going to take the arms over. Feel the feet kind of stay on the floor so you can have full body intention. Big inhale. And on the exhale, 
bringing the arms up. Now I'm going to turn the hands so my thumbs are touching. I'm going to take a nice big inhale here. And on the exhale, I'm going to draw the elbows down. Stay for the inhale. And on the exhale, I'm going to shoot them right back up. Stay for the inhale. And exhale. Stay for the inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. The ribs move and on the exhale, and then it right back down. I'm going to flip the arms into this sort of W shape. The elbows are nice and bouncy and towards the ribs, and I'm going to take an inhale here. On the exhale, I'm going to pull the arms up and inhale, exhale back down. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale back down. I'm going to extend my hands all the way down, check my, where I am. Okay, I'm going to take a nice big inhale and let the hands graze the floor as I come up, and then exhale, and then come down. More of these, inhale. A nice, beautiful rotation in the shoulders. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Okay, excellent. All right, coming up, I'm going to pull myself back a little bit. And I'm coming over onto the right hip. And I'm just going to roll over the glute into ooh, that back side of the, of the hip. Yep, coming right through. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing three of those and I'm going on to the other side. One. And two. And three. Excellent. All right. So now I'm going to flip the roller. So I'm sitting on it like I would sit on a campfire log. Same with the cozy vibes. So I'm going to come back and I'm just going over to the top of the back of the hip. The top of the back of the pelvis and then down past the sit bone. I'm just going to do that three or four times. You can go right with me or not. Either way is fine. And then I'm going to lean over a little bit to get this hip. Right over and over the glutes and getting that little thing where the hip and the glute <laughs> are meeting. And let's the other side. So I'm taking today nice and easy. This is an active rest day for me. Um, so I'm doing sort of the easier versions of these, but if you'd like to get a little more into the hip, you can take the foot over. We'll just do a couple of these since I'm here and going over. And you can always, if you've got a particular little knot, you can sort of get right into it and stay for a little while. Take little tiny rolls. Okay, let me go to the other side. You know, you're just going and exploring the hip. If you find a little tight spot, you can hang out there for just a moment. Take a nice deep breath. Find a little stillness, but then also just a little tiny rock before I go back to the room. Okay, excellent. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is come all the way back and I'm gonna go through the hamstrings. There's a lot of ways you can do this today. I'm just doing both at the same time. I wanted to do five, that was one. So I'm holding up my body weight in the back. Um, if you're having uh, problems doing that, you 
don't have to. <laughs> okay. And uh, you don't have to do this part, just get bored. Um, it takes a little bit of time to get the strength to get that all coordinated. So, you know, be easy with yourself. <laughs> it comes. All right, I'm going to do each of the calves individually. I just feel like I can get a little bit more in there. And I like to sort of move them around. So I'm going from internally rotating to externally rotating. Just hitting that whole situation. Yep. Okay, let's do the second side. Okay. And forth. Just moving and I'm kind of going through external and internal rotation. Excellent. Okay, before we move on to the quads, I like to put the the roller right at the bottom of the calf. And I'm just gonna sit up for a second, nice and tall, wiggle on up there, and just take some points and flex. You can alternate. And then I like to take some circles. <laughs> and back around. Yep. And just kind of feel your way through this. And you'll notice it sort of massages that point at the bottom of the calf as you're rolling, which is lovely. Okay. All right, coming. Flipping over, leaving the orientation of the roller where it is. I'm gonna set it right at my knees and pop over. Okay, coming on to my elbows. I'm just gonna take the foam rolling of the quads. So I'm going straight parallel for this one. And again, I'm just exploring. You can do the longer rolls or the length of the muscle, or you can take sort of smaller rolls at places, and then you can always stop. If there's a place where it's super sore, you can hold, and then go back to taking longer rolls. If you're just starting out, sometimes those places of soreness, you can hold for a full 30 seconds. It does wonders for, uh, giving some new patterns to the body. Okay. So before I do the hips, I'm gonna come and hit the inside of the leg. Go on this side first. Actually, let me go on this side first so you can see. <laughs> it's a little awkward, bodies are weird. Okay, so I'm gonna put the roller right above the knee, so not on the knee. And then I'm gonna roll towards the groin and back up. Yep. And I'm holding my body up. And four. Let's do one more. And five. It's like, whoo. Okay. So the second side. So if you're just starting out, like organizing the foam roller is like problem number one, right? So. Okay. So. <laughs> It's right by me. You can also angle it a little forward or a little back, depending on what you're doing, but let's go straight parallel if you're just starting out. Two, three, four, and five. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna take the foam roller again, uh, just straight across. I'm gonna put my pelvis to the front of my hips right on it. I'm gonna bend my right leg and I'm gonna roll over where my hip crease is. So I'm going right over the insertion point and back down. And so I'm coming all the way up to the top of the pelvis and over that crease in the hip. Yep, and then I'm going to take the other side. Okay, this is three. I'm going to do one more. Four. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to angle my hips to a 45 
degree angle. So I'm gonna get that T out here. So I'm going up and down. So I'm not straight, yep, right at a 45. And I'm rolling into the thigh. Three, four, and five. Good. I'm going to go on this side so you can see a little bit better. So, um, again, I'm going to angle the pelvis on that 45 degree angle. I'm going right over. This three. Go for one more. Okay, excellent. Okay, we're gonna come back to that lateral side hip, but I'm gonna take this and put it down. I'm gonna put my butt onto my mat, and I'm gonna place the foam roller right at above my floating ribs. Right, so not quite at the base of my ribs but just a little bit up, so I'm really trying to focus on the thoracic spine. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my arms behind my head, and I'm just gonna take a couple rolls to get started. So I'm going back and forth. Not coming down too low. Yeah, staying safe. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to that starting point. It's really kind of right where if you are, uh, if you would wear a bra, that would be where your bra strap is. And so we're coming back. Take a nice inhale in. On the exhale, I'm gonna curl. And let the roller hit that bra strap space. I'm gonna go back again, inhale. And exhale. And inhale. Sometimes I like to like sort of toggle back and forth when I get back here. Get some looseness in there. And exhale. Okay, so I'm going back to my rolling. That upper back. I'm gonna take the elbows and close them and we're gonna get a new space right in between the shoulder blades. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna extend right or left arm, doesn't matter. And I'm just gonna go over and lean a little bit into that shoulder blade. Okay, other side. Okay, all right, again, foam rollers right on that bra strap place. I'm gonna come over to the side, so it's under the armpit, not under the armpit, but like placed below the armpit. Again, if you were if you wore bras, this is where it would be. Yeah. So you can work that out. <laughs> right. So I'm just flipping the, taking the elbow across. I'm gonna open. Let it draw me across and fold. Let the elbow come across and over. And you can adjust if you've come back too far or too um, too short. Coming across and over. Woo. And across and over. Okay, awesome. Now it's time for one of my favorites. Okay, I find it to be the easiest. All right, so I'm gonna put the foam roller right at the spot where my neck and my skull meet. Right, I'm gonna get right in there. And I'm just gonna take my head back and forth, side to side for a few times. Ooh. And the best part is just to let the skull sort of melt to the roller. It helps with tension headaches, 
It helps with neck tension. It is so glorious. So now I'm just taking these little rainbows. I can tell it's my favorite one. <laughs> okay, so going back and forth, and then you can do the same thing on little under curves. Yeah. Then just for a second, we're you know if it if it slipped up, you just pull it back in. I've got my hands sort of guiding guiding it a little bit. So now I'm just gonna take little circles around. Yeah, and I'm just sort of exploring. And going back and forth or circles. If you notice that you're holding some tension, which I just noticed on myself, if you notice you're holding some tension to the ribs, try to let the back of the ribs just drop down. Yeah, you don't have to like pin them to the floor or anything. Just see if you can find some ease both in the pelvis and in the rib cage. Yeah, we have problems, but okay. <laughs> All right, I have to stop doing this. It feels so good though. All right, we're gonna move on. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yay. All right, so coming back up, I'm gonna come to this side. This is one of my favorite ones. Um, it also is kind of hard. So I put my legs in this sort of merperson situation. Yeah, and I'm gonna take a knife hand, hand, shaped like a knife, and I'm gonna roll out right over trying to get into the lats right there yeah and then but also going through the shoulder that side of the armpit I'm gonna do one more okay and it comes right you know and like right in that side place between tricep bicep it's so nice okay so we're gonna go on the other side Okay, here we go. So again, I've got this like knife hand. All the way over. And all the way back up. And up. And back up. Awesome. Okay, before we finish up here, I'm gonna sit uh, up onto the roller, just the side of it. I'm going 90 degrees, so perpendicular with my my hips, and I'm just going to hit this lateral side. Now, as I don't like to go all the way down this side of my leg. You determine what what works for you. But I'm just going on this like lateral hip into lateral leg. Okay. So I'm going to turn. And let's do the other side. Okay, excellent. All right, one more for the legs before we do a little sort of thoracic stretchy thing. All right, so for this one, I'm straddling the foam roller and I'm gonna pull and I've got my sit bone right on top of the full ro foam roller. I'm going right down the leg up over the sit bone. Yep, so right off to the side there. It's two. And three. Good, let's go on the other side. Okay, so I'll go to this side. The most awkward thing about foam rolling is the foam, like organizing the foam roller, right? So we're going through. Two, sort of retreating my hips and then pulling the hips forward. Good, okay. All right, so I'm coming right here. If this is a comfortable position for you, um, I'm just sitting on top of my shins. You can do this from other positions. So I'm going to take the back of my hands and pull forward and then back up and then forward and reverse. Good. So one and up and up. 
a few more of these. Okay, using the film roller, I'm going to come up to all fours if that's available to you. Alright, so this is a little different, gives you a little height. It also makes it a little unstable, right? So you get to hold a little bit. Okay, so I'm taking my spine nice and long, feeling very as secure as I can on a foam roller, right? But trying to find some security there. I'm going to take a nice deep breath in. And I'm going to float the ribs up. Draw the pelvis forward, inhale, and then on the exhale, and then let the ribs draw towards the floor, and take the face off. And I'm sort of trying to stay in this place, so a little different of a physical sensation than when your hands are all the way on the ground. And inhale. Fly the ribs. To be each other's light. And exhale. Awesome. Taking the, um, so I'm taking my right hand end a little bit. Take my left hand up. Just a little thoracic stretch up. And back down. Inhale. And exhale. I don't know if you could hear my back crack just then, but it was lovely. And inhale. Oh, yeah. And exhale. Just change hands. I'm going to take the arm up, take the big inhale. And exhale, cross it across. Inhale. Inhale and back. Okay, so I get another favorite. I seem to have a lot of favorite foam rolling exercises. <laughs> well, it's true. Okay, so I'm gonna put my I'm up on my the balls of my feet. I'm gonna pull the uh, foam roller right below my knees. So. If you have high chin points or other things like that, so be careful here, right? So only do this if you feel like this is a thing you can do. Um, anyway, I'll just show you and then you determine if it's for you or not. And I'm just rolling right over the shins. I like to go try to get to the ankles if I can, so sometimes I have to adjust my arms to go a little further. Because I like to go right over that front of the ankle. Okay, all right, so I'm going to take the foam roller right in front of me. I'm going to place the feet down, just wherever is comfortable. I'm taking mine a little wider than normal hip, and I'm just going to let myself hang for a second. I'm going to take the nice soft knees and just take the weight back and forth for a moment. Whew. roll that over there. It's probably going to come back, <laughs> but let's let it be for a moment. Oh, no, it didn't. It's stuck. Okay. So I have my hands on the floor if that's available to me. If it's not, you can have them anywhere that works. Yep. And I'm going to bend the knees, drop the pelvis down. You can come onto the feet if you want to, or you can just come back. I'm just coming back into this squat. I'm going to take a nice deep breath in. And on the exhale, I'm going to shoot the pelvis back up, drop the spine, do a few little wiggles here. Good. Okay, so for wherever you might be, I'm going to take the hands behind my head, I've got a nice bend in my legs. I'm going to let the spine just waterfall out of the pelvis. Whew. Okay, I'm going to <laughs> drop the tailbone, drop the sit bones through. You see this kind of curve. I'm going to keep pushing the pelvis forward as I unfold. Coming all the way up. Draw the arms tall. Take a deep breath in. 
and exhale. And we're done. Yay. Thank you for joining me with this foam rolling routine. And yeah, I don't know. Thanks.